here, Betty. It's Barbara, and um, I have been um, trying to get stuff listed in my store this week, so I just wanted to come on and share with you some things um, that I do have in there. And uh, my store is Violet May Treasures. Um, it's on Etsy, where I sell mostly junk journal related stuff, and I do also have a store on eBay where I sell other things, so I will put both descriptions in the description box. So first of all, I've been working on all the cabinet cards I have, and I have these um, tintype cards, and I'm selling this, um, all three of these together, and they're smaller, they're like two and a half by three, um, like, um, what did we call those um, pictures? Back in, a oh, wallet size. <laughs> um, and that's the back of them right there. And they do have some crazing on it, which is the cracking, but that is normal for the age. So those are really pretty. And then I did these ones, and I'm calling these ones um, Instant Family. So I will pick, um, and I have four of those um, sets available. I forgot to update, I mean, put that in my store, so I have to write this down before I forget. Anyhow, you'll put, um, I put where you can get one child, one of the men, and then one of the women. So that would be three pictures each for that one. And then these are just some of them that I've listed. Um, this is a couple from Colorado. This um, picture was taken in Germany, so I assume this is an older um, German couple. It says Oldenburg, and there is a date of 1899 on here. Some of these photos are from um, 1875 because I bought an antique album and it was dated that from the owner. So this is a picture of some cute children there. This is a bride and groom. She's wearing black, and for, from what I know about these cards, um, if they were a widow, or he was a widow, she wore black. I can't remember if it was him or her. These two cute kids here. I love her curly hair. And I don't know if that's her as a baby. I believe it was in the same photo album. And then this one here is adorable. He's in a uniform. He's got a lace top on there. I don't know if this Civil War era or what, um, but he has a rifle. But in the rifle is um, a gun. I mean, not a gun, a base with flowers in it. So I thought that um, was very unique. And I priced my um, cabinet cards similar to what everybody else um, does on Etsy and um, sometimes at a little bit lower because I've seen some quite high prices on some of these. Uh, some of these I haven't got listed yet, but I'm I'm doing the, these ones tonight. I've already taken the pictures of those, and then I have some more tin ones that I'm going to be listing in there. They're they're the small ones, and then I'll show you what I have in my store. I'm not going to show everything, but um, I just put these in today. These are little, um, they're from 1985, but um, they're reproductions of a um, turn of the century antique lithograph. So I believe there's three of those. And I'm selling those as a set. And then there's eight yards of this fringe. It's really soft. And I have other... Um, lace it and trims in there. This one I believe I showed before, but I did this um, as a, you'll get this um, tin sewing kit and um, an envelope with a stamp on it from 1903, a picture, and then just some vintage trims. So everything in here is um, vintage and then some buttons too right there I 
Um, I just listed this. It's a um, table runner and it's crocheted, but if you bought it and you wanted to cut it apart, you can and use those for doilies. It's about, I think, 36 inches by 15. Um, this is a lot of um, vintage photos and I'm, I have a lot more that I have to list also. So these are all quite older. So I'm, I'm assuming they're anywhere from the early 1900s to the um, 1940s. And this, these pictures, you will actually get those exact ones there. I'll, I'll put those back later. I have this, um, I'm calling it a dusty rose. It's a, a pink color trim. And then I have this um, McGuffey's Electric Primer. Electric, not electric, electric. This one is from um, 1909. You have to be careful with these because I um, did this before where I bought one and it was actually a reproduction. So somewhere in there, it will say that um, it was, say, a reproduction of the original, but this one doesn't. So it is truly a antique book. This one is super cute. This Dolls of Other Lambs and a little girl in it named Barbara. I should probably keep it for myself. Um, I've never seen this story before. This is a sewing um, apron, and then it, it comes with the embroidery instructions also on there. I have some wooden spools. I have um, this really pretty gold trim right here. I have this bias um, trim. I've sold a couple packs of these already, but I have this pink floral one and the Christmas one left. I only have one of these, but it's a velvet trim with um, embroidered um, beads on it. These are five pieces of Venice lace. They're different sizes. I think there's 70 inches altogether. I think this is a really unique piece of trim. It has like the chiffon with the lace trim there. And then this is really pretty. It's um, I have six yards and it's seven inches, and you can see it better when if you go to my store. And then the, this bridge scorecard, and then also I have. I've been meaning to do a live sale, but it's just been really um, busy, and I'll go over that at the end because you know I don't want to bore people that don't want to listen to my my story. Um, let me show you one more thing. I put a lot together and you have um, three choices. You can get a mixture, you can get all recipes, or you can get um, all advertising. But the mixture will include five um, random um, advertisement. I'll just go through these as I talk. So this is from a spiral um, community recipe book. I think it's it from Wisconsin, uh, Laramie, yeah, uh, Wyoming. Um, and so I took out the, um, it was kind of broken. So most of these are still have the spiral, but there are a few that might be torn on there. Um, so the mixture is five advertisements, five note, note cards. I'll show you what those are. And some of them have um, things written on the other side of them. So like the recipes from the booker. Um, so you'll get um, 10 recipe cards, five advertisement and five notes with the mixture with the um, Advertisements, you'll get 10 advertisements, and with the recipe, you'll get um, 
20 recipe cards or pages, I should say. And I can't find the notes right now. Oh, there they are. I'm to go grab them. Okay. This is what the notes look like. And then some of them are blank and some of them could have a recipe on the back of them. So you know, those will be random. And also um, in my store, if you purchase over $35, you get free shipping. And um, if you purchase just a, you know, under $35 um, and if the shipping seems high, just um, send me a message because um, Etsy doesn't always figure out the shipping correct and sometimes it's a lot higher, but I always refund people anyhow. So um, let's see what else. I do have some things I want to de-stash, so I may do a de-stash video later or tomorrow. I may do it tonight. Um, so if you listen to my last uh, video, you know that um, about a week and a half ago, we had to put our um, one dog to sleep, um, Bailey. We had her for 15 years. She, she was 16 years old, so because we she was about 10 months when we adopted her. And she'd been sick for a while. And then within a few days of that happening, um, our 10-year-old lab, Abby, all of a sudden was not feeling well. She was, you know having symptoms of being sick and just lethargic and we took her to the vet and uh, first of all it was almost impossible to get an appointment at the vet in our area I even called two of the emergency ones and they said that they are, they were filled to capacity so I don't know what was up with that but um so after calling our vet for a couple of days I was finally able to get her in and she um ended up having um, kidney failure or, or kidney functions were elevated. So we were, uh, the reason I have my nails done is because we were gonna go to Vegas. So um, my daughter had taken a week off of work because she was moving and she said, hey, mom, dad, if you wanna go somewhere, you know, I'll take care of everybody while you're gone and um, the days we were going to be gone were the days that Abby was getting her treatment, so she had to go to the vet. And um, she got home, and, oh, her labs, so they do a repeat lab, and they said they didn't go down, and they didn't think that she was going to probably, you know, be alive for very much longer, but, you know, we weren't going to put her to sleep at that point. And because she had gotten the IV fluids, I think she's been feeling better and she's been eating like back to normal. I don't know how long it will last. Um, I've never had this happen with one of our, our animals before. So um, I guess it can be common when they're older. So yeah, I got that going on. And now that um, my dad is uh, just, he's getting worse. And so we can barely leave the house because I'm afraid if he fell or something, so I'm dealing with that right now. So just doing a live sell would be so too much for me. And um, I'll be watching my grandson again come Monday. He'll be back here, um, and I'll be watching him for the next six weeks until his school starts in. Um where he, where they're living now so and funny story my daughter um started talking to somebody that lives in the area here um and now she's 75 miles away so she was just concentrating on school wasn't really um looking for anybody and then um she now talking to someone that lives in the area so i don't know what will happen with that but anyhow uh, i was gonna do a live and maybe just chat it doesn't seem like people go on live that much anymore and um 
that's it for now. So stay tuned if you're, I'm going to be doing some stamps and, um, stamps and what else? Paper. Just some random stuff that I have. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.